Welcome, my name is MST Havoc from MST Studios and today I will show you how you can import the Half-Life Advanced Effects camera in After Effects and maybe you are thinking hmm there also exists such tutorial as you see on the advancedfx.org page you see the video tutorials and if you go on the site you come to my YouTube channel and as you see there already exist an Half-Life Advanced Effects Cam to After Effects tutorial. The problem is this tutorial is outdated and um, yes therefore I will create a new tutorial also with the new plugin and current version is 1.4 and I updated that yet um, for about 10 minutes and uh, I will show you some effects you can create with that and also a lot of guys had problems with the right position of the 3D text elements or other 3D elements in After Effects because you don't have any reference like in other 3D programs ZMap. So therefore of course I will start with capturing and therefore we need the best program ever, Half-Life Advanced Effects. So I have the actually stable version and you can download that also from advancedfx.org. So starting it and choose file launch and I use 960 to 600 and also the path is right and I also added demo edit because it's right important for campus. So launch and as you see that's Counter-Strike you see Merv demo tool already loaded and you see we have the Merv comments. So next step is we want load and demo and uh, therefore I use the demo cam 850 copy and therefore I enter view demo and the name and that was in my case cam 850 and then copy so that's a demo I prepared for this tutorial and let it load and as you see in the events, I have added some events like stuff text or also the campus. And I will describe some of the stuff text now. So as you see, the first one is just an imaginary yeah, stuff text, which currently um, does nothing. So as you see, I have some yes, info added. Click here, go to and press play. I will show you. And the next stuff text is the spec auto director and spec mode 3 so that stuff text changes into the spec mode 3 and turns on the auto director which is important for the campus so the next is the recording start currently marked as uh, here should the recording started i will add the comment later then the campus follows you see we have flags one so that's the first campus start starting point and in the end we have the stop recording. So that will look like the following. I switch to yeah, some player in the in I view. Click on the first stuff text, click here, click on go to and click on play. And as you see the cam is already loading because we have that uh, other stuff text event which switches to the spec mode 3 and also turned on the auto director. So, at first I have to define the MERV attributes. For example, we have to define the MERV file name. So, MERV movie, file name, and I choose in my case the hard disk E and 3D AE folder. Paste and I use a uh, file name or, uh, or as folder capture. So 
So next step is of course we have to define the frames per second. So FPS is 90. Another important yeah, um, attribute or parameter is the Merv movie def dump and I need that for using later in the 3D space as mask. So I can cut out some parts which are for example hidden because some players is uh, running in front of the 3D element. Next effect, what can I take? Um, let me think. Um, I think, yes, as you see, we have that um, half left TV border. And of course, I can also add a an half and uh, border remover, but I don't want install something for movie making on this account. So, therefore, I use a trick not really a trick. I capture the HUD separate, uh, I use one, and uh, later I will delete just the image sequences. So the next step is very important because it wouldn't make sense if we wouldn't turn on the Murph cam export mode. So turn that on and you will get the camera motion file after recording. So that's all we had to enter and now I will modify my stuff text event first the start recording and that was Murph Murph record movie start Murph record movie start click on OK and the stop comment is Murph record movie stop uh, looking all right. So now I have only click on go to, switch to in eye view, click on. P so as you see, the recording is finished and now before we go into After Effects, I will firstly check our folder as you see capture and we have take zero motion we have the all the hot alpha and hot color and the def all looking quite good and before I switch to after effects I will give you some hints because a lot of guys have problems with the um, yeah, position of 3d textures and therefore I will give you some tricks and firstly I will turn off the recording just a small underline here and also here. Okay. And switch back. And now to positionate your yes, your 3D text or some other elements in the map, you can define now the path or the position where you have to positionate your element just in Counter-Strike. So therefore I just choose this wall here because you have seen the campus is uh, yes, flying this way and you see that wall. So therefore I will go into the wall something like that and now I will define um, the recording per binding so bind F1 for Murph record movie start. Looking good. And now bind F2 for the stop comment. So now just easy click on F1 click on F2 and that's it. 